प्रेम सुषमापति महादेव की जय श्री वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय On this beautiful morning, morning, my dear friends, we like to once more take this golden opportunity to welcome each and every one. इसे स्वागतम नमस्कार करता हूँ सब लोग तौला दिवोती सुख कम तो जान विता सं दिस बोस ब्यूटीफुल मॉर्निंग. We extend the blessings of our Lord into each and every one's life. At this time, we would have now performed beautiful arati to the deities. And at this time, without further ado, let us all sit upright. Let us close our eyes to join in invocation prayer and beautiful mantras. We will pray to the gods of the heavens. Universal Master Bhagwan Shri Krishna This morning we do conclude seven beautiful sessions of Bhagwat Mahapuran Yagya and as we conclude we will join in Gita Dhyan Mantras Mantras of Gita Path where we pray to Bhagwan Gopal to bless our forefathers and ancestors to bless our generation our lineage and to touch our lives with the spark of goodness Partaya Pratibhuritam Bhagavata नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेनाग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षि भगवते अष्टादाध्याय अंबत्वामुसंदा भगवदीते भौरवेशिनी नमोस्त व्यास विशाल बिंदे पुलारविंद्राय तपत्र नेत्र येन भारत तैल पूर्ण प्रज्वालित ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजाताय स्त्रोत्र वेत्र कपाणे ज्ञान मुद्राय कृष्णा गीतामृत दुहे नम सर्वोपनिषदो गावो मुक्त गोपाल नंदन पार्थवाच सुदीर्भोक्ता भोक्ता गीतामृत महत वसुदेवसुत तम सचानुरमर्दनम देवके परमानंदम कृष्ण मंदे जगद्गुरु भीष्मो न तथाच्यतला गंधार नीलोत्पल शल्यग्रावती कृपे नहणे कर्णिन विलाकुला अश्वत्म विकर्ण गोरमक दुर्योधनावर्तिनी सुतीर्ना कलु पांडवैननि कैवर्तक केशव पाराशर्यवच सरोजमल गीताकंदोत्कत नानाख्यानकेसर हरिगधा संबोधना भोरित लोके सज्जन शत्पर पे पे मन मुद भूयाभारत पंकज कलिमल प्रस्वंस श्रेयसे मुखम कौति वाचाल पंगुम लंगे ते गिर यमहम वंदे परमानंद माधव यम ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्र रुद्रमर्त सुरमंत्रि स्रव वेद सांग पराक्रमोपनिषद गायंत्यम सामग जानवस्थित तरगते नमन सा पश्यम योगिनो यस्या विरोसुरासुरगना देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सबको प्यारी ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय आज यू बिगिन दिस ब्यूटीफुल मॉर्निंग्स डिवोशन 
We're about to join in 40 verses. As we have done every night for the past six nights and this morning as we're about to worship our Lord Mahavir Swami, we pray for strength, we pray for courage, for wisdom, for intellect, for consciousness. And we pray for the blessings of our Lord. Shri Guru Charana Saro Jaraja Nijamana Mukura Sura Varna Raghubara Vimala Jasu Judaya Kupala Jaya Uddi Ratano Jani Ke Sumira Pavana Kumar Bala Buddhi Vidya De Arahu Kale Sarita Jai Hanuman Gyan Gunna Sagar Jai Kape Shati Huloka Ujagar Rama Duta Trulta Baladama Anjani Putra Pavana Sutta Nam Mahavir Vikaram Bajarangi Kumati Nivar Tumati Ke Sangri Kanchana Varana Viraj Suvesang Kanana Kundala Kunchita Kesa Atta Vajra Or Dvaja Viraja Kandemu Janeo Sajan Shankar Suvana Kesare Nandan Dija Pratap Mahajagavandan Vidyavan Vidyavan Ganeyati Chatur Ram Kaj Karibeko Vatur Kavu Charitras Nibeko Rasya Ram Lakana Sita Manabho Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Om Shri Hadumati Namaha Sukshma Rupa Dhari Siya Hidikawa Vikata Rupa Dhari Lanka Jarawa Vima Rupa Dhari Asura Sanari Rama Chandra Ke Taj Savari Laya Sajeva Nalaka Najaya Shri Raghuvi Arashi Uralai Raghupati Ke Ne Bahuta Bharai Tumma Mama Priya Bharata Isama Bhai Kasavadan सहसवदन तुम रोज सगावस कई श्रीपति घंट लगावन सरकातिक ब्रह्मादि मुनीशर नारद शारद सच अहिता यम कुवेर दिगपाल जाते कवि को अभिद कई तके कहाते तुमों पुकार सुग्रीव है केरा हम मिलाय राज पर हर कृष्णा हर कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे हर राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे हर राम हरे राम हरे ग्लोरीज तो महावीर स्वामी जय श्री राम तुम्हारो मंत्र विभीषण माना लंकेश्वर भय तब जग जाना विगसाहस्त्रयो जन परभान लीलोता ही मधुर परजान प्रभो मोद्र का मिल मुकमा ही जल दिलांगी गए अचरज नाइ दुर्गम का जगत के देते सुगम अनुग्रह तुम्हारे देते राम द्वारे तुम रक्वारे होता ना क्या बिर पैसारे सब सुकला है तुम्हारे शरणा तुम रक्षक का हो को धरना आपने तेर समारो आप है तीन हुलों आंख ते का पे बुद्ध पिशाच निकट नहीं आवे महावीर जब नमस्नाव हर कृष्णा हर कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम ना से रोग हरे सब पीरा जपति रंतरा अनमत वीरा नकटते अनमान चरावे मन कमावचन जान जोलावे सब पर राम तपस्वे राजा तिल के काल तकल तुम साजा और मनोरथ जो कोई लावे तू यमित जीवन पलकावे 
चारो युग पर ताप तुम्हारा ऐ पर सिद्धा जगत उजयारा साधु संत के तुम रखवार निकंदन राम दुलार अष्ट सिद्धि नव निधि के दाता सवर दी जान के माता राम रसायन तुम्हारे पास दादा रहो रघुपति के दास हर कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 All glories to the Lord, Shri Hanuman. तुम्हारे भजन राम को पावे जन्म जन्म के गविसरावे अंतकाल रघुबर पूर जाए जहाँ जन्म हरि भक्त कहाए और देवता जित नजर ही अनुमत से सर्व सुख कहे संकट करते मिते सब पीरा जुस्मिरया हनुमत बलवीर जय 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 हनुमान गुसाए कृपा करो गुरुदेव की नाये दोष बार पात कर कोई कही बंदे महासुख हो जो यहाँ पर हनुमान चले था वो ये सिद्धि सा के गौरी था तुलसीदा सदा हरि तेरा की जय नाथ के जय नाथ हृदय महादेव हर कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हर राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे हर राम हर राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे हर राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हर कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम बोले हर कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हर कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे पावन तनय संकट हर नाम मंगल मूर्ति रो राम लखन सीता सहिता हृदय बस हो सुरभ पवन सुध हनुमान की जय बजरंग बली की आज यू बिगिन अ ब्यूटीफुल मॉर्निंग वंस मॉज वी डाइव इन टू द गोल्डन पेजेस ऑफ भागवतम वंस मॉर वी कंटिन्यू आवर मैसेजेस व्हेन वी स्पीक ऑफ द फाइव पांडवस द फाइव ब्रदर्स द सन्स ऑफ द डिवाइन मदर हु इज कॉल्ड कुंती मैया इट इज सेड दीस फाइव सन्स विल सिट बाय देयर मदर एंड दे विल प्रे फॉर दैट लव फॉर द मदरली केयर the most powerful form of energy that comes from a mother to a child it is said like we had mentioned many of the nights before even gods would have assembled on the earth to receive a mother's love and a blessing and today the five pandavas they sit at the feet of their mother and the mother gives them the love and gives them the dolar you all know what is dolar dolar is the pet up one of the lines it says mohan surat savari surat मोहन सूरत सावर सूरत नंद दुलारे आओ राजू दुलारे नंद दुलारे आओ राजू दुलारे दुलार वन लास्ट एनी वन यू गेट सम दुलार वन लास्ट यू गेट दुलार यही वन लास्ट यू गेट दुलार भाई लॉन्ग टाइम भाई 
Wala yung mommy right there, don't stick. <laughs> Dular is when the parents hold you and they play with your hair and they squeeze you up and they hug you tight and they kiss you up all over. And you know when you get big, you say, mommy, come on, I's a big man now. No. <laughs> Every moment of the dollar that you get from your loved ones, from the elders, from your mothers, your fathers, your grandparents, accept it, love it, embrace it. Because one day to come, you stand by yourself. And then the trueness and the genuineness of true love. And that blessing of a dollar, it doesn't come anymore. Even if the world loves you after that, even if you have a dollar hin, she's not going to give the dollar like mommy. The dollar of the mother and the father is something that's different. It's something that's genuine and pure. It's a love that when a mother holds a child, she says, you know what? I love you forever, no matter what the world does. Even if the world discriminates you, at the end of it, she will stand up and still say, even if she know you're wrong, she will still say, no, I think something had to be wrong. He would never do that. Because there's a different love for a mother, a child, a father and a son, a father and a daughter. Today as we're about to join in the beautiful pages of Mahabharata, Bhagwat Mahapuran. Kunti Maya sits with her four son, or five sons rather, and when she sits with them, she gives them the love and the dollar. She sees the competition of the world. She sees a fight for a kingdom. And she says to herself that the most I can do is to show love on my children, to shower her love upon them. And in turn, a child grooms through love. He grows with strength when he's given the blessing and the love of the elders. We join this morning, but before we do so, a chant to Bhagwan Shri Krishna. Panduranga, Panduranga, Rama Krishna Hari. Panduranga, Panduranga, Rama Krishna Hari. All together, Rama Krishna Hari, Mukunda. राम कृष्ण हारे मुकुंड पांडुरंग पांडुरंग एवरीबॉडी वृंदावन में हरि लाल की जय पावन सुत हनुमान की दिस इज द फाइनल मॉर्निंग ऑफ आवर यज्ञ टेक ऑल द एनर्जी दैट यू हैव एंड इन्फ्यूज इट एट द फीट ऑफ आवर लॉर्ड लेट मी एवरीबॉडी ऑल टुगेदर नाउ राम कृष्ण हारे बोलिए राम कृष्ण हारे मुकुंड मुरारी पांडुरंगा राम कृष्ण हारे पांडुरंगा क्या Hari Mukunda Murari Rama Krishna Hari Mukunda Murari Panduranga Panduranga Rama Krishna Hari Panduranga Panduranga Rama Krishna Hari All worries to Bhagwan Gopal. Radisham, Radisham, Radha Madhav Radisham. Oh, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Vallav, Sita Ram. Radha Mukund Radisham, Radha Govind Radisham. Radha 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 Radhe Govinda Vrindavan Govinda Come on 
Pandurangga, 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 Pandurangga. राधे श्याम राधे श्याम राधा माधव राधे श्याम ओ सीताराम सीताराम सीता वल्लभ सीताराम राधा मुकुंड राधे श्याम राधा गोविंद राधे श्याम राधा 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 राधे गोविंदा वृंदावन गोविंदा पांडुरंगा 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 राम कृष्ण हरे मुकुंड मुरारे बोले राम कृष्ण हरे पांडुरंग पांडुरंग राम कृष्ण हरे पांडुरंग पांडुरंग श्री गजानंद स्वामी की पवन सिद्ध हनुमान की जय On this beautiful morning, my friends, as we've come together to join in the wonderful pages of Mahabharata, Bhagavatam, it is said Kunti Maya she takes it upon herself to love her children, to love her five sons. But there's a war that will continue. That war will turn into the Mahabharata war that we've always heard about. It is said while the war will be prepped and all is set for destiny for these five Pandavas, as karma has it, one day while these five sons are enjoying the love of their mother. Their cousin, whose name is Duryodhana, their cousin comes one day, and he knows that these five boys they are well disciplined, they are well character, they are well mannered people. So that in turn he wants to break their character. He know one day they will pose to become a threat to his kingdom, to his family, and to his loved ones. So at a very early stage he decides that he will try to put an 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 out to it. He will try to stop them from even being there. And what does he decide to do? He decides to have a competition to compete. But with a bigger plan in mind, the competition is simple. It is said, out of the five Pandavas, we spoke of it on one night. The eldest of the five Pandavas is who? Yudhishthir. But who is the strongest of all the Pandavas? Bhim. Bhim, his structure was built. His arms were powerful. His body was tough. He was tall. He was the strongest of them all. Even though the eldest would have been Yudhishthir, Bhim was the most powerful of them all. Message says that Duryodhana wanted to get at the strongest first in order to cut down the entire team. It is said in the world that we live in today, when people want to look to try to destroy you, to destroy your mental peace, your physical being, they look for your strong points first and foremost. 
they try to see where your energy goes and they will try to cut down your energy and they know that if they can cut down your energy then gradually then you can become nothing people will look to attack your homes people attack your families people attack your jobs they will attack the closest thing to you realizing that in their minds that if they can do that then in turn it's the easiest thing to bring you down in this world katha says that while bhagwan shiva and parvati mata sits in kailash parvat the lord says devi look down on the earth and see what is about to take place the lord bhagwan govinda he has taken an avatar and on the earth he will be a part of this wonderful message where the pandavas they are standing one day and then bhim he stands by himself and duryodhana walks up to him and he tries to tease him now he says you claim to be the strongest of them all are you really strong and bhim stands up and he says yes who's questioning that i am strong today devotees let me ask you are you strong are you strong antony me ka check de boy <laughs> are you strong being strong doesn't mean just going to the gym and exercising you know being strong comes in many different ways being strong mentally emotionally psychologically spiritually are you spiritually strong if somebody comes up to you right now with an argument and say but well, your god is no good your god did this and your god did that and your god practices this are you strong to stand up and say hey don't talk about my god my god is strong my god is solid the energy of my lord is powerful are you strong enough mentally to stand up to fight the world whenever people try to destroy you one of the first things they will do is try to get to your thoughts try to get to your mind try to break you down and duryodhana he says bhim you know strong you claim to be a strong one and bhim says what do you mean look at me i'm strong he says no 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 you're not strong you only feel you're strong because of the size that you have but you're not strong you're a weakling if you're strong enough why don't you compete with me why do you put your bigger brother in front why do you why do you put your dishter in front every time how come you're not the head of the pandavas how come you're the only one who's always at the back how come they don't push you to the front if you're the stronger one and he starts to weave in situations in his mind you must be careful in the world that we live in today in the world we live in many people will come to play with your your mind your thoughts and your energy and people will try to destroy you in this field that i am in as a pundit musicians people of the world many people will come and they will pose as a threat to your life and they will start with your mind they will tell you bad things they will tell you things that are not true they will tell you things to make you believe things other than what you know they will start by as we say prosecuting you they will start getting to your home and your family be careful of the people who are coming to pry into your life you know like i was thinking recently having a conversation with a few people and there are many people you know you come to a yajna what do you come to a yajna for what do you come yajna for what do you come yajna for who you come for no i not true you come to see me <laughs> two reasons right <laughs> What do you come yajna for? To change your life, to change your mentality, to make better of your home situation, to make better of your personal life. What do you come to a yajna for? What do you come to the mandir for? What do you do puja for? Why do you pray to God to make your life a better one? But you know what? Many people come to the prayers and to the puja to the yajna and their mindset is different. Don't ever think that you're coming to the yajna to make friends. Don't ever think that you're coming to the yajna to probably see or to see what they're doing or to pry into people's life. But take a moment and change you first. If you try to corrupt the world, then you'll end up in problems. Try to change you first. It is the purpose of life. At the end of it all, every one of us, the aim is to go back to the universal Lord. The aim of all of us while we are here, even me, is to go back to the universal Lord, not to play games. And in the world that we live in, be careful. Have you ever heard the older people always say there's a slang they say but how we move in so like you walking by the moon or what what does it mean the moon means the mind when people say you're walking by the moon literally they're saying you're moody moody it is said when the moon comes in different phases it attacks the mind when it attacks the mind be careful people will play games with you the world will play games with you people will taunt you in your mind that day duryodhana He starts to speak to Bhim, and he's saying, "You claim to be big, but you're nobody." And he's pushing him, you know, as though he's been provoked. And while he's sitting like this, 
Beam stands up and he says, Okay, okay, listen, listen. What do you want to do? You just name it. I will show you how strong I am. Some people will provoke you. People will come and provoke you with words. People will provoke you with actions. People will show you things to provoke you. How do you stand and become strong? Mahadev in Kailash Parvat. He sits with Devi. And while he's speaking to Parvati Devi, Nandi comes along. And Nandi says, Prabhu, look at what is happening on the earth. When people provoke one another, before you know it, a war will take place. Nandi bel parabhaiti shambho Abhinashi shambho Abhinashi Bhagavan Shankar says, Well, if you want me to calm down your mind so you don't become rowdy in your thoughts, he picks up the Damru and he shakes it. Dam Damru Baja Watadaya Poonja Sukarasi Bambula Shiva Shankar Kailash Kivasi Kailash Kivasi Bambula Shiva Shankar Kailash Kivasi Kailash Kivasi Diko Gaura Diko Gaura Padanali Sata Satin Jadasi Diko Gaura Padanali Sata Satin Jadasi Prabhu Darshan ke naina bade hai piyasi bade hai piyasi He says beautifully, Prabhu Darshan ke naina bade Bhagwan Shiva is looking from above and he's saying look at them Before they go to a holy ground and pray for Darshan of the Divine Lord They're worrying about fighting to see who is better than who Why live in a world to fight people to live better than somebody else in the eyes of God, be up to the thing of the day. What is the goal of, a, of the day today? What is the thing of today? I want the young people to tell me that. What is in today's world that is the goal of, as we said, the young people in society? I'll tell you just now. Prabhu darshan ke naina bade hai piyasi bade hai piyasi Do daya Jo daya kare Shiva Shankar kate yam pyaasi Bambola Shiva Shankar kailash kivasi kailash kivasi Bambola Shiva Shankar kailash kivasi kailash kivasi Dikho gaura, dikho gaura badan aliye saath sati nijadasi Dikho gaura badan जब प्यास किए प्रभु तीर्थ क्षेत्र भाई काशी भय काशी जब बास किए प्रभु तीर्थ क्षेत्र भाषी भाई के काशी नर ध्यान नर ध्यान धर्त भय योगी यति सन्यासी नर ध्यान धर्त भय योगी यति सन्यासी बंबोला शिव शंकर कैला किवासी कैला शकिवासी बंबोला शिव शंकर कैला किवासी कैला शकिवासी दिक गौरा दिक गौरा बदनली साथ सते निजदासी दिक गौरा बदनली साथ सते Lord Shiva says in Kailash Parvat, look at these two young boys, look at them. They want to fight. They're actually aiming to fight one another. Don't they understand the thing of the world today? Today, all young people, you know something? When you go onto the streets, people think the person who could smoke the most is the thing of the day. 
people think the one who could probably go into the parties the most, that's the thing of the day. In case you haven't been catching up with the times, spirituality has become a big norm of the day. Where in the world don't you hear of yoga, meditation, fasting? Everywhere in the world, people are now becoming health conscious. Everywhere in the world, people are becoming spiritually conscious. A person who is not even Hindu of this type of ethnicity, they've decided to now take a moment to go into spiritual life in whatever religion, whatever culture they may have come from. People are turning to God now, realizing that the world is not getting a better place. What happened when COVID came? For people who never prayed in their life, they started to beg God. Not so? When COVID came around, people who probably never did a prayer or a puja, they were calling, they were trying to do online pujas. We thought we were having a joke. There was the app, you know? You all remember that, that video that was forwarding everywhere where there was an app to do puja on an app? Where you could have the app right in front of you and you could touch the screen right there. And if you want to do Hawan Puja, you press a button and you have one light. And then if you want to offer ghee into the fire, you press a button and you see the ghee going into the fire and you just say swaha. And we thought, when would that ever happen? You know what? That's nonsense. That's, that will never take place. And there were people in COVID who sat down and said, I don't know how to even get wood or ghee for the fire. You know what? Let me just use the app and let's make it work because we don't know how to pray again. You never know what the world can turn into. But in today's world, the norm or the thing of the day is to be a spiritual person. In case you haven't seen, look into Bharat Desh and India. Children today, they are fighting for learning and understanding religion and music and instruments. That's the thing of the day. Get your young ones involved. Get your children involved. Because five years, ten years from now, you won't find a proper musician. Five, ten years from now, you'll realize that everybody else, they're doing music and they're doing everything else in prayer and devotion. And you're realizing that you're falling behind. Recently, even in Trinidad, when Narish and myself, we were talking, sometimes when you see a fall short of a little dantal person or something, we had to look everywhere, you can't even find a dantal person. But you look across the world on the eastern part of the world, and there are hundreds of people, children at the age of two. I remember when I was in Bharadesh, and I sat down in a class with one of my music teachers there. He sat down, and he had probably 50 students. And the oldest was four years old. The oldest was four years old. And they sat down and they were starting Sare Gama Paranisa. And while they're there, you will see them at the age of probably two. They're still uneasy, but their mouth going, Sare. And they're still going with it. The norm of the day today is to catch up with the times. People nowadays, when you hear Katha and you hear the religious books and the sacred texts, Pandits, when we sit on the Vyas Gaddi, we don't have to ask, well, do you remember when Lord Shiva and people say, no, I never heard that before. Catch up with the times. Understand your culture, learn your religion, keep up with the scriptures. The thing of the day today is not how much you could party and how much you can lime and how much you can do the things on the outside. It's who can play a better instrument. It's who can sing. It's who can do the spiritual part. It's who can learn when in society today, anybody who know it, where in society are you finding young little boys who are saying, you know what, I want to be a pundit? Rare. You're not finding anybody. Nobody wants to be a part of it, but on the eastern part of the world, it's becoming popular. Take a moment and let's slack the things of the world that are distracting you for God and from God. And remember your real purpose and your identity. People will provoke you and people try to break you down. People will try to distract you. People will try to stop you from devotion and prayer. But never forget where you've come from and never forget where you're heading. Remember the simple things that has made you who you are today. And remember where you want to end up at the end of it all. If you sit here this morning and you ask yourself, five years from now, where do I want to be? Then where do you want to be? Think about it. Today, Bhaktas, Bhim says, whatever it takes, you can play with my mind how much you want. He walks away from his brothers. He says, you dishit bhaiya. Duryodhana wants to have a competition with me. You don't come. I don't want nobody to come. You know why? Because he says, if I bring you, you will support me. So I want to stand on my own. People will provoke you to take you by yourself and then discriminate you. Stand as a family together. Stand united as one unit together. Stand together as a body of devotees of the Divine Lord. Working together. Stop segregating one another. Stop having family fights. Stop having mandir fights. Stop fighting for power. Stop fighting for money. Stop fighting for things of the world. Start living a humble life, friends. Today, Bhim says, your Arjuna, 
दोन बरत कम अर्जुना सेज भैया यू आर माई ब्रदर आई विल वॉक विथ माई बोन माई आर ओ वर इफ दी साइड टू नाउ डिस्ट्रॉय यू He says, "No, no, no! I don't want you to come. I will be strong by myself." And they ask him, "But why? How come you don't want us to come with you?" But you know why? Because Duryodhana has provoked him from his mind, and being provoked, he wants to go by himself. He goes, and he follows Duryodhana. Duryodhana comes with a team of his brothers, and Bhim goes by himself, and they go by a lake. And when they went by the lake, they stand on top of. something like a cliff and they're looking down and they're seeing the lake below and duryodhana says he says he has what let's go and try something let's go and try to see who could swim the fastest in this lake let's have a competition and see who could really win let's see who could swim the fastest and beam prepares himself he says no problem i'm strong let's go and they dive into the waters duryodhana and beam they dive into the waters and as soon as they head in beam is powerful his hands are strong He will then swim across as fast as he could, and when he would reach the end, Duryodhana is still coming his way. He's still slow, and he's coming little, little. And Bhim stands up and he says, "Tell me now, what do you really want with me? What do you really want with me? I am powerful." And Duryodhana says, "No, no, no. I was just warming up. Let me go back again now." <laughs> and then a second time, they try to swim the other side, and when they reach the other side, Bhim wins again. And Duryodhana says, "No, boy. I think he must be really strong." Something is wrong. We need to do something about this. And a second time again, after they've completed, they go for a third round. And realizing that Bhim is strong, Duryodhana says, "Listen, we need to do something. We need to fix this problem now. How do you fix it?" He calls his brothers and he says, "Listen, Bhim like to eat, and if we have to destroy him, we have to do something to destroy him through a different medium. Bhim loves to eat. How many people here like to eat?" A little afraid. Who like to eat? I like to eat. Look, I put my two hand. All you afraid? <laughs> Who doesn't like to eat? Beam loves to eat. No matter what comes across him, he will always eat. He stands up there and he wants to eat. And Duryodhana says, "Listen, we're going to make something nice for you to eat." And he says, "This is going to be a competition. Who can eat the fastest? Win." He says, "No problem. I love to eat." I am ready for the competition but you know what they did be careful of the people around you they took food and they placed poison in the food and when they put the poison there they gave it now to bhim and now duryodhana has his food that is normal and he partakes of the food and while he partakes of it he says bhim eat now let's see who will win and bhim starts to consume and while he's consuming not realizing that the food has poison hi bhavan kailash parvat nandi says prabhu Please, but how now? Tell me. In turn, he says, "Tell me what is what will take place. Will you allow Bhim to die, Mahadev?" And at that point, Mahadev says, "Don't worry. I am overlooking the world. I am overlooking the past, the present, the future. I am omnipotent, omniscient." And it is said that Lord Shiva looks into the third eye and he realizes what will take place, and he smiles and he says, "Nandi, don't worry." All will be well. Shankar Shiva, Shankar Shiva, Shambhu Mahadeva, Shankar Shiva. Everybody, say, "Uma Pati Mahadeva ki." Shankar Shiva, Shankar Shiva, Shambhu Mahadeva. Shankar Shiva, we sing for Lord Shiva. Shankar Shiva, Shankar Shiva, Shankar Shiva, Shankar Shiva, Shambhu Mahadeva, Shankar Shiva, Shambhu Mahadeva, Shankar. Come on, Hari Bhakta Bola. Shankar Guru, Shankar Guru, Shankar Guru, Shankar Guru, Shankar Bhagavat Pada, Shankar Guru, Shankar Bhagavat Pada, Shankar Guru. Nandiva 
ವಾಹನ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ ನಂದೇ ವಾಹನ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ ನಂದಿ ವಾಹನ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ ನಂದಿ ವಾಹನ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ ನಾಗಭೂಷಣ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ ನಾಗಭೂಷಣ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ ಶಂಭು ಮಹಾದೇವ ಶಂಕರ ಶಿವ while we are singing this beautiful chant mahadev in kailash parvat nanni says great is your form prabhu shankar for you know the past the present and the future but when i as a humble devotee look into the world i question and i worry and i stress about what will happen and what will take place we live day to day and we stress about things that sometimes are irrelevant in our lives but the lord knows the bigger picture the lord knows what will take place and what is to be Sometimes we fret about the things that are coming before us. Every problem that you have ever had in your life till this point, if you think about it, didn't it pass away? Didn't it go? When you were a child and you were going to school and maybe one of the biggest exams came and you remember that moment, you had anxiety and you were panicking and you're not sure if you were to pass it. When the day came and the results came, whether you did good, whether you did bad, you had to deal with it. But haven't you passed that point? Every obstacle in your life you overcame it little by little however it may be and you're here today and you're happy today and you're comfortable and whatever happens your way Bhagwan knows the bigger picture he knows why there is a reason nothing happens without the will of the Lord nothing happens without the Lord curbing you curbing maybe your ego curbing something in your path or maybe training you or directing you to something that you are meant to be and to be a part of have faith in your lord and let it be while we praise mahadev nandi walks up to lord shiva and he takes a lota he takes a, a, a offering of a jal and he goes to the feet of prabhu shankar and he pours it at the feet of the lord and he says great is your form mahadev we are singing this bhajan i want somebody anybody take a lota and offer a jal on mahadev on the lingam right now offer that link that jal and pray to prabhu shankar because lord shiva is receiving an offering on his beautiful morning shankar shiva shankar shiva shankar shiva shankar shiva shambhu mahadeva shankar shiva shambhu mahadeva shankar shiva shankar guru shankar guru shankar guru shankar guru shankar bhagavat par 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 trambakam yajamahe everybody haath jod kar ಸುಗಂಧಿ ಪುಷ್ಟಿ ವಾರ್ಧನ ಉರ್ವಾರುಕಮೇವ ವಂದನ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮೋಕ್ಷೀಯ ಮಾಮೃತ ನಾಗೇಂದ್ರಹಾರಾಯ ತ್ರಿಲೋಚನಾಯ ಅಸ್ಮಾಂಗರಾಗಾಯ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ನಿತ್ಯ ಶುದ್ಧಾಯ ದಿಗಂಬರ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಕಾರ ನಮಃ ಓ ನಮ ಶಿವ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದಾಟ್ ಇ ಭೀಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ ಟು ಈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿ ಫೂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಪಾಯ್ಸನ್ you know there's a beautiful chapter there's about 7 8 pages in the anushasan parva of mahabharata that speaks about food it speaks about preparation of food you know like when you're having a puja long ago and even today when you have a prayers and you're about to make the prasad people always say the first thing you make when you're having puja is prasad 
Because when you wake up in the morning, you have a nice, peaceful mind. You're calm. You're composed. You don't put that energy into the parasad because that is for Prabhu. You must always make the parasad nushasan parva. Food must be respected. We should never even put poison in food for somebody. We mustn't even put negative energy into food. Sometimes, you know, maybe a husband comes home and he's upset and he's yelling at his wife. And he says, come on, make the food fast now, man. You know, I, I hate this and I don't like how you behave. And she go and she pick up the pot and she's like, ah, he, he should die. <laughs> the energy you put into the food can destroy you. When you cook, it is said, cooks should have a peaceful mind. All the time. No matter what takes place. Food is something that goes into your body. Just like a vitamin, just like the produce of the world, just like many things that we put into our body, energy is a very powerful thing. Whatever you consume when it comes with energy, it affects your spiritual health. Maybe not physically, your spiritual well-being. It affects your chakras, your energy to motivate, to pray, to do devotion. If you decide to eat something that is not sattvic and you sit to do devotion, you will be struggling to get the energy to come together. I'm sure for all these nights and all these sessions come together, as soon as you enter the mandir now, whether whatever would have been taking place before, whatever takes place now, when you come in the mandir, you start just feeling it now. You feel that I'm ready for this energy, I'm ready for the vibe, I'm ready for, for the chanting. The energy just simply grows according to how we eat and how we think, so we become. We can destroy that energy. Beam is eating food and the food have what? Poison. And he doesn't know, but he eats and it tastes really good. And while he's eating the food with the poison, Prabhu Shankar smiles in Kailash Parvat because he knows the bigger picture. And while he eats, all of a sudden in a few moments, he starts to feel drowsy and he starts to spin in a circle. And while he is drowsy as it is, not knowing how to handle the situation, he faints away right there. His body has been infused with poison. Becoming infused? Duryodhana, he laughs and he says, Today, the biggest of the Pandavas have been destroyed. The strongest of the Pandavas, he's no more. And they roll him to the side of the cliff and they push him down into the water now. And when he fell into the lake, he started going downstream. And while he's going down the stream of this wonderful Nadi, his body's rolling within the waters. And he's about to now be destroyed because he won't come out of it. Beam! He's going down the stream and Duryodhana looks and from above, not too far, he sees some serpents in the water. There are snakes in the water. And Duryodhana says to his brothers, he says, Today, we definitely have destroyed one. Through food, we have destroyed one of the Pandavas. Now let's go and let's try to destroy the rest of them one by one. And while they decide to leave, the body of beam rolls down. He falls into a pit where there are snakes and there are serpents. And while the snakes are there, Mahadev in Kailash Parvat, he says, Nandi, how beautiful is the illusion of the world? How beautiful is the Maya of the world? And Nandi says, beautiful, look Bhim dead. Bhim has died. He won't get back up from there. How do you say the world is beautiful? And Mahadev says, look at the beauty of the world. And he looks at the Shishnag on the side. He looked at his Nag Deuta. And when he looks at him, he gives him the hint. Nag, jao. And the snake comes down from the neck of Prabhu Shankar, comes down the Parvat, and he starts to go down now to the Nadi. Because Prabhu Shankar has applied. When that snake and that Nag went down now to where the body was, all the other serpents are there. As the head Nag and the head serpent, he commands all the other Nagas to bite at the body of him and all the snakes they are biting and while they are biting Prabhu Shankar smiles and he raises his hand to bless the body of Bhim Komala Komala Angatihara Shamarangatura Nage Pyara Jili mili, jili mili, chalati hara Jaise jamuna, jalaki dhara He jo mati hazaar paane wale He shesha pe dharati ko taane wale 
नाग देवता ताही माँ पाही माँ नाग देवता ताही माँ पाही माँ बोलो हरे शंभु It is said while all the snakes will come together, they will bite at the body of Bhim. His body is already filled with poison. And now the poison of the snakes enter the body of Bhim. And while it is going through the veins, and it is going through to every part of the body, Mahadev raises his hand, and through a divine energy, he blesses Bhim. And now what nobody knew? At that point, it is said, the poison of the food mixing with the poison of the snakes works as an antidote for him to heal and become stronger than he ever was. Sometimes we will live in a world where people will try to poison us. Pray to God, he has the antidote. People will poison your mind. People will poison your life. People will say bad things about you. People will criticize you. People will put you down. But just be you. And Bhagwan knows exactly who you are. So ye balak, ro ye mata, ye kaisa anjaya vidata, ye balak kahai. तुम पालक हो प्राण दान दो जीवन दाता हे विश्व को अमृत पिलाने वाले हे भक्तों के लाज जाने वाले नाग देवता त्राही माँ पाही माँ नाग देवता त्राही माँ पाही माँ Sarma Nagadev, he started piercing the body of Bhim after poisoning the body and it worked as the antidote. He turned around and he went back to Kailash Parvat and Prabhu Shankar looks at him. And when he sees Naga, Naga is ready to go back around the neck of Prabhu Shankar. But Prabhu says, wait right there. He says, Nandi, bring the Aarti now. Aarti, the most holiest one, the Shesh Nag. Aarti, the serpent, and allow the world to know that when I keep that mala around my neck, it is not that the snake is yet to scare people. But be careful because people will try to wrap around you to poison you. And if people try to destroy you, then pray to Mahadev and I will remove the poisons of the world. On that day when the halahal poison came out of the ocean and the churning of the ocean, Mahadev was called and he stood above in mid-air and he consumed every part of it. It is said the throat of Prabhu Shankar became blue. Hence he was called Nilakanta. The entire body of Lord Shiva is not blue. Only the throat. The complexion of Lord Shiva is actually white. But he's called the blue-throated one. So many a times we see the depictions and we think that he is the blue one. But in turn, who is the one with the bluest skin? He's called the blue boy of Brajabhumi. He's called Bhagwan Govinda. Mahadev is Neelakanta and he's called the blue boy of Vrindavan. Komal Komal Angati Hara Shamaranga Dura नागे प्यारा जिले मिले जिले मिले चाल 
कटिहारा जैसे जमुना जल की धारा ये जो मत हजारों पानों वाले ये शेष पे धरती को उठाने वाले नाग देवता राही माही मा नाग देवता ताही मा पाही मा विष्णु सया के सुनाने वाले हे शंकर के गले को सजाने वाले नाग देवता त्राही माम पाही माम नाग देवता त्राही माम पाही माम नाग देवता त्राही माम ओ नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवा उमापति महादेव की इट इज सर प्रभु शंकर ही हैड ओवर सीन द वर्ल्ड द नाइट और टुडे राधा दिस मॉर्निंग आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट भगवान ओवर सीज योर लाइफ ऑल यू नीड टू डू इज टू लेट गो यू कैन नॉट होल्ड ऑन टू द वर्ल्ड एंड होल्ड ऑन टू प्रभु एट द सेम टाइम यू नीड टू लेट गो Bhagwan knows why, when, how, for what reason, whatever anything is taking place in your life. But many times we think that we are in charge. Some of us we act as though like we are God ourselves. I know everything. You all know people who know everything. <laughs> you all know people know everything. Some of them husband looking at their wife so, hmm. yeah, she know everything. <laughs> Some of us think we know everything. Some of us pose to be in the world as though we know everything, but when a problem comes, um, and you say, you know, you take over, no, no, then we're ready to hand over. Bhagwan knows everything in the world. Have faith and let go. Even when the people of Vrindavan they were looking for Bhagwan Shri Krishna on that particular day, everybody seemed lost and confused. Nobody knew where the Lord was, and they had to let go. They had to sit down and say, Prabhu, I give up. Lord I give up I don't know where you are I give up you have to sometimes say it out sit by your murti and say prabhu i give up your words manifest your words can create many things if every day you you say to yourself good things you will motivate yourself if every day you say bad things problems will come if you're having the worst of day if you're having the worst of a life if you're having bad things taking place in your life and somebody ask you how you're going and you stand and say well why if i tell you eh? real problems too much trouble you will always be with that energy you know down and sulking and depressed and nothing working for you but even in the midst of your problems somebody comes and say how you doing and your whole body in pain you know what i'm great i'm alive i'm great your words manifest to heal you if things are not working out for you then say prabhu the only one you will speak to with your heart sit by the murti and say prabhu i give up but even with faith lord i give up not because i'm depressed not because i'm down not because i'm worried i'm giving up because i want you to take over now lord i want you to be in charge when arjuna stood on the battlefield of kurukshetra and the mahabharata war was about to begin arjuna held on to the reins and he says okay the war is imminent now i see all my family members are ready to fight and then he looked at his uncle and he saw his cousins and he saw everybody and then he looked at bhagwan krishna and he says am prabhu am here i'm ready to fight and the lord says kya hua where is your energy now you just said you're ready to fight what scared you and he says prabhu I see my uncle who taught me how to fight and I'm going to fight him. I see the people who I grew up with and I now have to fight them because they are against me. Prabhu how to do it? And the Lord spoke to Arjuna and he spoke to him not just with a few words. That is how Bhagavad Gita came into existence. 
He spoke words of motivation. Bhagavad Gita is compiled with motivation. How to live a proper life. How to stand up for yourself. How to be firm. On a regular basis, randomly, sometimes just take your Bhagavad Gita and just open it and read a few lines. It's going to motivate you. It is called one of the wish-fulfilling book. We know it to be just Bhagavad Gita, but it is the wish-fulfilling book. You have a problem, hold the book and say, Lord, you know what is going on in my life? Tell, tell me something, Prabhu. And just open a random page. And you know what? 99% of the time, something comes there to tell you, be strong. The world is doing this. Something is happening, but be strong. And it motivates you. That book has magical strength in it. Put faith into your Lord. Put faith into your culture. And when you worship the deities, good things will happen. When Beam woke up from that moment and he opened his eyes, he realized he felt stronger than he was. He didn't understand what happened, but he woke up at the base, at the bottom of the nadi, and he got up and he said, you know what, it's becoming dark. I'm sure my brothers are worried about me. I'm sure my mother, Kunti Maya, she may be worried. He started to head back, and in the same way, the brothers, they were searching for him. They were walking through the forest and they were calling, Beam! Are Beam Bhaiya! And suddenly Beam hears the voice. The voice of his brothers calling out. Sometimes we have a voice within us calling out to us. Don't do it. We have an inner voice that speaks to us. Listen to the inner voice. Have anyone, any one of you ever heard that inner voice inside you talking? Yeah? How many people hear the inner voice? Don't worry, nobody ever think you're mad and think. We just want to know. <laughs> if you don't hear the inner voice, then I'll tell you. My guru in India used to always say that within you, there's an inner voice guiding you through your conscience and your energy. You know when you live in the world like you live now? Everything you do good, you get the benefit of it. Everything you do bad, you'll have to pay for it. When you die, you're scolded in many different ways and you're punished in many different ways for the bad things that you did. When you're about to take a rebirth into the world, Bhagavan says, I will give you a conscience. And the conscience will remember, you will remember, but the conscience will remember everything that you would have done and everything that you were punished for. So when you come back into the world and you're going to do something and the conscience tell you, nah boy, I feel, you know, conscience beat me. I, I don't think I should do it. And the world tell you, yeah, do it. And you say, my conscience saying, no, 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 don't do it. It's because your conscience remembers you did it in the past. You were punished for it. You come back in the world. And you're going to do it again. And he's saying, no, that conscience starts to hurt. Don't do it. Something is wrong. My mind beats me. Don't put it there. Don't do that there. The conscience is there. An inner voice is about to speak to you. The Lord will speak from within. But in order to get the inner voice, you must learn now to find the spot where the voice is. How do you find the spot? It's easy. Calm down. When you calm down, the body stops becoming tense and you start releasing energy. When you become calm, and, and, and I'll tell everybody this because we live in a world where people become frustrated for every little thing. Calm down. When you're calm, start slowing down your thoughts. Slowing down the thought to everything that is taking place. Many a times you sit and there are thousands of thoughts flowing through your mind per second. You're sitting here right now and you're thinking, what's going to happen in Katha next? You're listening to the Katha and the mind and saying, well, I wonder where they cook. You start thinking about the food and you say, I want, oh God, I probably need to cook when I go home. You're now thinking today is a Sunday, today is a holiday, I wonder where we're going later. The mind starts to move from one thought to the next, the mind starts to drift. You start thinking about work, you start thinking about school, you're here and you're in the moment and it's going nice, but at the same time the mind is just traveling everywhere. Sometimes just for a second it just jumps and it takes you everywhere. If you can slow down your thoughts, sit peacefully. Sometimes people use many things to calm down. Maybe listen to waterfall. Maybe listen to birds chirping. Maybe just go somewhere by yourself in a park. If not, just sit wherever you are and create silence within you. When the thoughts slow down, in between all the thoughts, there's a space of silence that pervades. If you could sit and just be silent and calm and peaceful, in the midst of silence, that voice speaks to you. If you're going through the worst of problems, there's too much noise in your head. If you're frustrated, there are too many thoughts. What to do? I should do it like this. No, 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 I should do that. You know what? Before I do that, too many things are flowing in your mind. If you calm down to slow down your thoughts, the answer to all your problems will come. But that is the hardest thing as much as it sounds easy. Because in the middle of a crisis, when you sit there, the hardest thing to do is to calm down. But if you do, the answers lie within your thoughts.
Prabhu Shankar, Lord Shiva, Mahadev. He is known to be the embodiment of peace. So you pray to Lord Shiva for peace. That day, Kunti Maya. As much as the rest of the brothers put their hands together and they're chanting, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Kunti Maya looks up above and she says, Mahadev, please find my son. I don't know where my son is. I hope he's alive and I hope he's well. But please find him because I can't think more than what I'm thinking. Lord Shiva sits in Kailash Parvat. He is called the Lord of, or the embodiment of peace. And on his jata, he has what? And his jata, he has the moon. We spoke about the mind just now. He's the one to help you control the mind, calm down the thoughts, and figure out everything that has to be in life. Manas mandir vas nivasaya Vishalako malakandim It is said, Manas mandir The mind can become a mandir if you slow down your thoughts and you create what you want out of it. If you think yourself to be big, you'll be big. If you think yourself to be small, you'll be small. The mind has the capacity to make you who you are and the mind has the capacity to break you from who you are. What do you want? Parashiva Daite Nika Savarite Nana Jiva Kare Avagati Murite Anyanya Virite Achale Amale Devi Manasa Mandira Vasa Nivasa Vishala Komala Kantu Madala Sesi Vasundari Vardaya Nijatma Bhavana Kiranam Udaye Satayva Satayye Unnam Tvam He Mata Sulalita Udaye Satayva Satayye Unnam Tvam He Mata Guravara Rupi Sarasa Samlapi Bhavati Sachirananda Guru Vara Rupi Sarasa Samlapi Bhavati Sachirananda Manasa Mandira Vasa Nivasaya Vishala Komala Kantim Madala Sesiva Sundari Vartaya Nijatma Bhavana Kiranam Om Namah Shivaya Bolo! Om Namah Shivaya Hadi! Parashiva daite nikasa varite nana jeva kare Parashiva daite nikasa varite nana jeva kare Avagati mudite ananya vidite achale amale devi Avagati Murite Ananya Virite Achale Amale Devi Manasa Mandira Vata Nivasaya Vishala Komala Kandim Madala Sesiva Sundare Vadaya Vijatma Bhavana Kiranam It is said on that day, 
while the mother prays to Mahadev, Prabhu, bring peace in my mind and my thoughts. And in the meantime, the brothers searching for Bhim until gradually they meet up Bhim in the forest. And when they met him, they say, Bhaiya, kya hua? Where did you go? What is wrong? How come you never came back for so long? And they could see on his body the marks of the snakes and the serpents. And they sing, Bhaiya, ye kya hai? And he looks and he sees the marks and he says, I don't know. But whatever took place, I feel stronger. I feel more powerful. You see, with the poison of the world, use it to channel yourself to become a better person. People will try in many ways to destroy you. Take what the world gives you and take that energy and offer it at the feet of Prabhu and he will transform the poison into strength. On that day, it is said the brothers will hug and they will go back to their mother. And while they're going back to their mother, Kunti Maya, sitting by herself and praising Mahadev, she waits for her sons. Manasamandira vasanivasaya vishala ko malatantin Madala se jiva jundari vardaya nijatma bhavana kiranam Nijatma bhavana kiranam Nijatma bhavana kiranam Nijatma bhavana kiranam Umapati Mahadeva ki jai praising Lord Shiva, a mother at that point, she worships Mahadev and all of a sudden she sees her sons running, Hare Maya, we found Bhim and brought back Bhim to the mother and the mother now seeing her son after so long worrying and stressed never let your parents worry about you, call them and tell them you're fine children leave home and they forget to even tell you know you see us stop right there I don't remember I didn't call my mommy. <laughs> that is licks right there. Children leave home and they forget their parents. Parents might say, yeah, go ahead. Now they give you permission. But while they're giving the permission, remember your parents, call them. Say, mom, how are you doing? I'm just calling. I reach. I'm here. I'm there. I'm leaving to go at this point now. Remember. Because sometimes they sit worrying and thinking about you. Sometimes they are worrying and worries will bring the stress and the stress will bring the sickness and the sickness will become something that may not be something that we want to see and to know. Sometimes let them know you're fine. Sometimes let them know. They just want to be appreciated and know that you're okay. Just let them know you're fine. That's all it takes sometimes. <laughs> when the mother hugs her children, she says, Prabhu, thank you, Mahadev. Thank you. And they say, Mahadev, you pray to Mahadev. Maya, we are praying to Bhagwan Govinda and you praying to Mahadev. And she says, Hare, they are all but one. And they all sat down together now. And they said, you know what? Let's now create a prayer. Let's form a prayer circle and pray to thank God for what we have. Bhim sat down there and he said, I could have lost my life and nobody would have known. But by Prabhu's grace, I'm alive. Every single day is another chance for you to say, Thank you, God, that I am alive. Because you could go to sleep and never get up. We could leave home and never reach. We could leave a place to go somewhere and never reach there. Every day is an opportunity to say, Thank you, God. Don't let a day pass you by without putting your hands together to say, Thank you, God, for who I am. Don't let moments pass you by. We get tired sometimes when you old people say, Put our flowers now, like the dear, say our prayers. I want you to engage that mentality on your own. You know what? Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be alive. Thank you for allowing me to move. If God snaps a finger and He wills it that you never move, you could wake up tomorrow morning and wake up with a stroke. Or the body could just be paralyzed and you could never move. Say, thank you, Lord, for allowing me to move. Thank you, Lord, for giving me life. And thank you, Lord, for giving me strength. It is said they sat in a circle. And as much as Devi and Kunti Maya worship Mahadev, now they said, Ma, I think we need now a powerful strength on the earth. And I think it is time that we call upon our brother. That we call our brother. Because it is only him who will take us out of this samsara. It is said the Lord is known to be the Lord of samsars. And out of all the days that we worship Bhagwan Shri Vishnu in many forms, they sat down at this point and they are about to glorify Bhagwan Govinda. 
as you're about to conclude our morning of devotion, as you're about to conclude the yajna with this final bhajan, they sat down and they will sing for Bhagwan Shri Krishna. And the Lord in turn, He would have manifested in mid-air. And He blessed the five Pandavas right above while they were chanting His name and His glory. And the Lord says, Today, I give you my word that I will stand with the five Pandavas. And guaranteed, no matter what the world brings at you, even though Mahabharata war was one of the biggest wars in all the scriptures, the Lord says, with Prabhu Shri Krishna on your side, you will never fail and never falter. Shrumapati Mahadeva ki jai! Radha Gauri, Radha Gauri, Radha Gauri, Radha Gauri, Radha 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 You will gain strength from your loved ones from the people who support you This morning I want you to learn something After all these sessions learn to work together Stop fighting Learn to support one another Don't pull down one another Learn to be your brother's keeper a final message for the whole yajna. After everything that took place, in order to live a good life, it's very simple. Be your brother's keeper. Support one another. Stop the fights. Stop condemning. Stop criticizing. Stop pulling down the people who are closest to you. Start working together. Because remember, Baba Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai, beautiful Moriti right here. Baba Bhagwan Shri Satya Sai said, the family that prays together. I didn't hear that. Like, will you fall apart already? The family that prays together. Vrindavan me Hari Lalaki. Radha Gauri, Radha Gauri, Radha Gauri, Radha Gauri, Radha, 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 Radha Gauri. Radha Gauri, Radha Gauri, Radha Gauri, Radha, 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 Jori mere mana basiya, mana basiya, mana basiya, mana basiya, mana basiya. Radha, 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 Radhe. Shori pare, nilam bari ki shori pare. Nilam bari ki shori pare, nilam bari ki shori pare. Pitaam bhar aur gaat gasiya, ishori mere man basiya. Pitaam bhar aur gaat gasiya, ishori mere man basiya. Mana basiya, mana basiya, mana basiya, mana basiya. Radha, 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 Radha. Jai Ho. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Manabasiya, Manabasiya, 
मन बसिया मन बसिया राधा 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 गोरी राधा गोरी राधा गोरी राधा गोरी राधा 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 शिव वृंदावन भी हरी लाल की उमापति महादेव की जय This is where we end our beautiful message on this wonderful morning, as we've concluded seven beautiful sessions of devotion, worshiping our Lord Bhagwan Govinda, joining in Bhagwatam. We touched Ram Shritramanas, we touched the Hanuman Shritramanas, we took a little of the Anushasan Parva, Shanti Parva Mahabharata. So many beautiful messages coming from these holy scriptures. At this time, before we go into Arti, I, I want to invite Mr. Ban Singh to come forward to give us a few words, and then we will conclude with our final Arti. It has definitely been definitely been a pleasure to be here with each and every one, on behalf of myself and the members of the Sila Selgan Dharavas. We would like to especially thank all those who came all the nights to join with us, to support us, to once more share your love and to receive darshan and blessings. And we do hope that with our messages, your life will become a better one. We do hope that you'll make changes in order to allow things to be a better place in your home, in your family, and in your personal life. So with this, we are, we hand over to you, Mr. Ban Singh. Ayodhya Pati Ramachandra ki je, Sirman Vyasi. Give him a big round of applause. Well, for the past seven nights, he was here. He was here with us, and he did a very beautiful um, yag with us. I must thank you so much, Pandaji, and hope to see you back again. I must thank the Kirtan Group. Did a wonderful job, and each and every one of you. For responding positively to this invitation, and uh, what else can I say? It's a wonderful year, and I hope you keep up the good work you're doing. And I have a few little announcements.